<laughs> All right, now for women, staying healthy can be hard. Often we come last especially moms, yeah. but we need to take a more active role in our health. Dr. Amanda Frick, a naturopath and vice president of medical affairs for Thorne, is joining us live to talk about some tips to take a more active role that can lead to a healthier and longer life. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for being with us. Doctor, how can women be more empowered when it comes to their health choices? I mean, it seems like such a great concept, but in reality, it's really hard to put ourselves first for some reason. I think you're right. Um, I, there are a couple of keys that are they're key to being empowered patient and empowered, making your own health choices. I think first of all, it's really important to have some information about where you are and then really want to know where you want to be, right? You can't work with your doctor to personalize your health plan if you don't know what you want out of that, which means the second part is you know, feeling empowered to advocate for yourself. It's okay to tell your doctor that you're not where you want to be right now or have a clear idea of what you'd like to feel better about. And so using that bit of information to open that conversation with your physician can really help you to work together to personalize your plan. You, you talked about personalizing your health plan. What, what exactly does that mean? I think that means, you know, getting something that works well for you, that the same diet, exercise plan, nutritional supplements, none of those things are one size fits all. Mm. So being able to have a little bit of data to help personalize that plan means you, you get what's right for you and not just, you know, something generic that works for everyone. Okay. Uh, you know, you talk about personalizing your plan. One of those things, you know, you hear a lot about supplements, vitamins, how we should be running our blood to see what we're lacking. Is there one supplement or vitamin that women should be having more of? I think there's probably a few, but um, one that really sticks out is vitamin D. So yeah. we know how important vitamin D is for supporting your immune system and your bone health and your mood. Uh, the great thing is it's really easy to get an idea at home. Either your doctor can do it for you or you can test your level at home and then personalize what that number needs to be for you to get to, to reach those health goals that you have. And supplementing is super easy. So it's just, you know, a really great thing to add to your daily program. And what kinds of lifestyle tips do you tend to give to women? Is there one thing that we should all be doing more or less of in our daily routines? I think we 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 all hear about all the things we're supposed to be doing more or less of. Right. Sleep, drink water, eat right, exercise. Um, but I think one thing that gets left out a lot is you know, that social aspect, spending time with people that you love and your friends and family, having some physical touch, and then getting outside and getting some sun on your face. So we can... We can want to check all the boxes, but really don't forget to get that joy aspect in your life. Yeah, and we can great. all use a little bit of extra joy, right? Well, and let me tell you, women rule the world. So without a healthy woman, we're we're in for big trouble. Yeah, we need to take care of the women. <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Amanda Frick, thank you so much for your time and for that helpful segment there. Thank you. Thanks for having me.